Mortal Kombat has become an, an industry upon itself. Uh, every version of Mortal Kombat that has been introduced into the marketplace has become a blockbuster. The thing that really astounds us is that um, this one arcade game that we made in 1992 has managed to spawn off all these different forms of media. The Mortal Kombat movie uh, has made over $100 million worldwide. The Mortal Kombat home games have sold uh, 15 million copies. The arcade game alone has earned what's estimated at over a billion dollars. And uh, this fall, with the Mortal Kombat sequel movie being released and Mortal Kombat 4, it just it really seems like the legacy continues to grow. Mortal Kombat 4 uh, is the first 3D Mortal Kombat. I don't think we would have even done a Mortal Kombat 4 had we not known that we could do the kind of advancements that we did. Up till now, no other technology was capable of truly presenting the fast-paced action necessary in a Mortal Kombat game. And the difference with Mortal Kombat 4 is it utilizes a 3D graphics engine, so the game is entirely done with 3D computer graphics. We have developed an extremely sophisticated graphics chip, which we call the Zeus chip. It's capable of generating in excess of a million two hundred thousand four-sided polygons per second. To put that into perspective, I understand that's approximately ten times more powerful than the Nintendo 64 system. And we're pushing around so many polygons, and the detail is so incredible, and the realism is so incredible, but that still wasn't enough. We, we still had to take the game a bit further. So we decided to change everything. We decided to change the presentation of the graphics, the gameplay, add completely new elements to it all. What we did was we introduced weapons, and, and, and weapons are in other 3D fighting games, but not in the way that weapons are in Mortal Kombat 4. Get up! Get up! The speed of, of Mortal Kombat 4 and the way that you can drop a weapon your opponent can pick up your weapon and use it against you. It is so incredible and adds so much to the fighting. When we designed the Zeus chip, we designed it for, for extraordinary performance, but at a very low cost relative to any other 3D product on the marketplace. The Mortal Kombat 4 Road Tour is something that's never been done before in the video game world. We're taking Mortal Kombat 4 on the road to select cities around the country, and we're providing players a sneak preview, an exclusive sneak preview of the game, a full month before anyone else in the world will see it. This is a product that will cause the kids to be standing five deep, waiting to play, because it is so much more exciting than anything that's in the market right now or anything that's been introduced in the market over the past few years. I'm here to play Mortal Kombat 4. It's just because it's Mortal Kombat, everybody's going to play it. I wanted to be the first to play it. They're all excited. They've been obviously waiting for MK4 for a long time, and now they're close to getting it. And I, as we can see, the turnout is just fantastic. really surprised by the amount of uh, media coverage we've received on this tour. Uh, the guys from Midway uh, Games brought over Mortal Kombat 4. This thing isn't even in arcades yet. And the kids love this game so much that they follow the trucks around the country when they give demonstrations. It's like the Grateful Dead tour of video games. I've been to every single one of the stops so far. People are already asking when we're going to have it. You know, they want to know the day and the time so they can come and play. It's been incredible. Our website, mk4.com, has gotten millions of hits since we first put it up on July 10th. Uh, to give you an idea of how much activity it's gotten, in one day alone we've gotten 500,000 hits on the webpage. The media has really jumped onto this whole thing and um, we've seen quite a few stories from all over the United States. From WBAL-TV, you're watching 11 News at 5.
Baltimore is one of a few select cities getting a sneak preview of a new video arcade game. It's Mortal Kombat 4. Kansas City 5 stands for... And the newest sequel, Mortal Kombat 4, is expected... Live from Northern California's largest... Latest Mortal Kombat game. Here to tell us what's new at Midway Games is Chairman and CEO Neil Nicastro, and he joins us. You're watching Fox 4 News More. The latest improvement on the popular video game Mortal Kombat. The news for Portland, Vancouver, and the Pacific... Kids were crammed inside today, testing their skills against a new version of a popular video. Now, Boston's 10 p.m. news leader. The new arcade game is causing quite a sensation. Mortal Kombat 4 is debuting in Boston to hundreds of aficionados at Good Time Billiards in Somerville. And as I found tonight, they were having a good time. This is the immortal Mortal Kombat 4. Touted as the fastest, most realistic 3D video game ever created. It's pretty good. It's come a long way since I played Atari way back in 76. This one's a, a huge uh, step forward over the third one. It's definitely uh, more fluid motion, better animation. You can tell the technology's gotten a lot better. This is Mortal Kombat 4's debut in Boston part of a nationwide sneak preview tour before its release. And anyone who peddles this game can see that it attracts quite a crowd. Its makers use state-of-the-art motion capture technology with martial artists and actors to maximize realistic action. One good thing about having Mortal Kombat 4 in an arcade like this is that you don't have to wait to play any other games. For instance, you don't see a horde of people waiting behind me salivating to play with Sammy the Clown at his flying coin circus with the amazing bonus wagon. We've had wonderfully positive reaction everywhere we go. People are amazed at the difference between MK3 and MK4. They love the 3D. They really love the fact that you can take away a weapon from your opponent and use it against him. The classic characters have their old moves back and a lot of new ones. Weapons are a great feature. It looks better. It runs smoother. It's, the effects are great. I like this one a little better because it's a little more dark and gothic. This game is real fast. It, it moves. It's, it's real quick on the ground. I think they did a real good job. The backgrounds are awesome. The backgrounds, that's that's what makes it. It's definitely the best fighting game I've played so far. I'm going to go get back in line right now and play it again. I'm going to plan on being here until 7 o'clock until they take the machines away. From what we saw inside, we, this is going to be a great promotion and this is a great way to get some of the major locations the game early. And I think this type of promotion really adds to our sales effort and player awareness. If the players are aware, the operators have no choice but to buy. I don't think there was any question that I'd have MK4 in my facility. It's a matter of how many and how many kids are going to come in here and play it. It's going to kick some serious butt. It's going to be the best 3D fighter probably out there. That was really cool. Really impressive. Dude, man, this game rules. Yeah, I love it. Oh, that rocks. It's a great video game. Best one yet. I'm not a freak about it, but I enjoy it. Awesome. It's great. Excellent. It's hot. Mortal Kombat 4 is the mother of all fighting games. Mortal Kombat 4 is the pinnacle of all Mortal Kombat games that have preceded it. It is the most sophisticated, fast-paced, uh, beautiful uh, fighting game that has ever been created. I'm here at Midway in front of the big gong, and we're talking about Mortal Kombat, the whole kind of series. I got some good friends of mine here. This is Ed Boone, programmer. Hello. We got John Tobias, and this new guy, Dave. Dave Mikachich. How's it going? Now, what I want to talk about first is, uh, let's talk about MK4. Yeah, this is basically the biggest jump in since Mortal Kombat 1 that we've made in terms of gameplay and presentation. You know, that everything is in 3D now. Movement can be in 3D. We added weapons, interchangeable weapons, which no other game has had. We're very excited. We have a very positive response over the game, too. Mortal Kombat, each game has always centered around the villains of the game. Uh -huh. And uh, all the other characters were just sort of built around them. And this game in particular, uh, the new villain is uh, Shinnok. And his, his henchman is Quan Chi, kind of like in the other Mortal Kombat, uh, it was Shao Kahn and Shang Tsung. Right, so right. we got a new set of villains, and uh, the heroes that are sort of presented here are sort of in reaction to the new set of, of villains. So. We had uh, a lot of the people that are actually on the team, and, and we brought in some other talent, and they went into the motion capture facility, did all the motion. Um, Ed uh, picked a lot of the moves he wanted and directed him, kind of like we did in the past, but this time it's all in the computer. Was there ever any Mortal Kombat underwear. 
You know, I don't think there was. There might have been Mortal Kombat Halloween costumes and whatever. Halloween costumes, but no underwear. I want to, I want to get me some, you know. Socks. There have been socks. Socks. Yeah. yeah. Socks. yeah. Very cool. What does the future hold now for Mortal Kombat? What are you guys working on next? Is there an MK5, Dave? Definitely. MK5. Yeah. How about yourself, John? Uh, then we're also working on a game called uh, Mortal Kombat Special Forces, which stars Sonya. Hi. Hi. So real quick, who's your favorite character out of all the Mortal Kombats? Scorpion, absolutely. Scorpion? Uh, visually, I'd say Goro. Goro? Reptile. Well, I gotta tell you guys, this is my favorite right here. Yeah, it's nice. Get the microphone out of my face.